15 and good morning from the NOC, the Natahelia Outdoor Center, the Knock. So I spent the night here last night. I got knocked up um, in these wonderful accommodations. I'm going to say this is misleading because I saw a video that somebody put out last year when they stayed here. And they had a nice, like, shared suite like 105 bucks a night they had like a common bathroom only with they had to share it with one other room but had a kitchen and tv and all that good stuff and uh well i've got bunk beds yeah live and learn so anybody coming through this area just keep that in mind uh that you might not get that nice little hotel room uh, got everything packed up. Have to get some water on the way out. But I think we're ready to go. Uh, today's going to be tough. It's supposed to be a lot of climbing. Uh, I will do my damnedest to take the time to make videos. I know a lot of times, especially when I'm, you know, got climbs going on, it's head down and just push forward and forget to stop every so often and video stuff so uh i will do my best uh with that it's uh 7 25 and i think it's time to put on the pack and get moving all right those buildings there are kind of like the motel hotel they have the good rooms they look pretty nice Maybe next time, if there is a next time. Well, I just finally saw actual wildlife after almost 140 miles. Uh, three white tail went running down below, maybe, uh, I don't know, 100 feet away or so. Uh, up until now, it's been, you know, birds, squirrels, and chipmunks. Not even rabbits or anything. Uh, really kind of surprising. I expected, you know, maybe a little bit more wildlife. I uh, guess we're about an, yeah, almost a mile outside of the knock. Getting some sweat droplets that is interfering with my perfectly coiffed mane here uh, messing with my backcountry flow yo all right we're gonna keep going uh, it hasn't been too bad you know the uh, the climb's been a little bit gradual nothing really too steep yet uh going pretty smooth uh and i was i was thinking i've got like three options uh there's a seven mile place where I can stop 10 miles away and the other one is 13 so you know what I'm going to do what I want to do today uh, regardless I mean I'm going to be in uh, Fontana Village in three days so whether I do 13 or 7 today it's still going to be day three I'm going to get to the village I'm just going to have fun hope you guys are having fun too hey in my previous video I talked about blowdowns that is a great example of a blowdown. And if you can see all the way down there, the treetop needles are still green. So this could be pretty recent. We did have some killer winds about a week ago. And that might have caused it. That's one thing with the pine trees in North Carolina. They are very top heavy. So when you get strong wind storms, it just grabs the needles up top and really puts a lot of force on the roots and everything and things like this happen. It's the only thing I see falling around here. All the other oaks and uh, hickories and all that are fine. Nature, yo. It's like a perfect natural bench right at the top of that little climb very cool 
So the, the big navigation app that everybody uses, well, just about everybody uses, you know, when they're out doing through hikes like this, it's called Far Out. It used to be called Gut Hook. Uh, I still call it Gut Hook like everybody else does because Far Out's just a stupid name. Uh, but you can leave comments on it. So at the, I just got a bunch of water, so different water sources I'm leaving reviews. Uh, so this one is deceptively good flow Le three liters in less than one minute this southern charmer has flavors of moss and granite perfect with either your a mountain house meal or a plate of your mama's hush puppies so <laughs> those have been all of my comments i think as i've been going along i've been leaving stuff like that so hopefully i won't take them down uh, and you know put a smile on somebody's face I'm getting attacked by leaves all right, give you a little view here. Mostly trees. All right, time to get moving. Just taking a little break, refueling. Got my granola bar. Taking advantage of the sun here. It's not windy right now it was a little drafty earlier many things chilly uh yeah just taking a little break here i've got almost six miles in for the day and it's time is it? hold on i gotta take a look at my watch yeah 20 minutes to 12. uh slower than my normal rate but considering all the climbing I'm happy with it. <clears throat> yeah, it's been it's been uphill the the whole way. So and it's gonna keep on going like that too. I'm hoping to get to uh Stacoa Gap, which will give me thirteen for the day. We'll see what happens. They might be pushing it, but doesn't matter. I mean, in two more days I'm going to be in Fontana, so whether I put in 13 miles today and for 10 miles, you know, I'm still going to be there in two days. Now, the only thing I'm thinking is. Will I Nero or Zero at Fontana Dam? Original plan was going to Zero. I might just Nero. Depends how I feel. But I think uh, and today's a lot of climbing. I think tomorrow it might be as well. Uh, we'll see how I feel when I get there. I like to be as fresh as possible <clears throat> going into the Smokies. Because um, I just want to go straight through those things. I don't want to stop. I don't go to Gatlinburg. I'm going to take everything I need with me, and on the other end of the Smokies, that's when I'll do uh, a zero. We'll see. Not much to look at besides me. Not much to look at. All right. I'm going to finish up my fuel. And I'll probably get moving here in a few minutes. So it's kind of cool, these huge rhododendron, the way they're bending to get to the light. It's really impressive. Almost feels jungle like. So, welcome to my campsite tonight. Totally stealth camping. Uh, the trail is actually up there. It's got a bunch of switchbacks. But I got down to Stacoa Gap, which is down that way. And 
there aren't any campsites there. So I went and found a water source, got three liters of water, and this is like an old far service road that's locked at that end. So I thought, well, I'll walk down here and see what I can find. And I came across this fire ring. So I thought, well, somebody else has camped here. Looks like a good spot to me. And way down there, I've got a great bear bag hang. So I actually did put everything into that bear bag since I'm out here by myself tonight. Uh, <laughs> I bet this will be the best night's sleep I've had since I've been out here. So there we go. It's, uh, ooh, 8 o'clock, way past hiker midnight. So I'm going to say good night. Thank you once again for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the footage from today. Today was a hard one. A uh, lot of climbing, a lot of snot bubbles. It was a tough day, uh, but we got in 13 and change. So right now that puts us only 14 miles out from Fontana Village. And my next resupply box and maybe a zero day. We'll see. All right. Thanks, folks. Talk to you later.